Welcome to the REI Foundation Podcast, where we cover all the steps and strategies to make your real estate dreams a reality. Now your hosts, Jason and Peely. Hi, this is Jason with the Real Estate Investing Foundation Podcast. Happy Monday. We're going to talk about multifamily because that's what we do on Mondays. And today we're going to talk about how to have conversations with brokers. And it seems more difficult than it is. But if you talk to brokers, they're going to say they have maybe 20 unsolicited phone calls a week. And if you're thinking that, you're going to say, wow, well, if they're getting just 20 calls of people out there saying, how can I buy an apartment building? Or I want to buy an apartment building. How are you going to stand out if they're having all these 20 calls a week? Well, today we're going to talk about it and hopefully find a solution to how you're going to be that person that stands out. And what I have found that's worked for me and our team is one, being specific with what we want and two, following up. And really it's that simple. So let's think about, or let's just put out there what a lot of people are doing and maybe we have done in the past and maybe our team has but what doesn't work and that is hi mr broker hi mrs broker i am interested in buying real estate or apartment buildings and if the broker's on the other line the broker is going to go okay and there might be silence and that was probably a little bit uncomfortable and maybe some people just thought it went dead but From a broker's perspective, they're going to be like, okay, great. What does that do for me? Because remember, brokers are here to one, create relationships and two, close deals. And that's how they make money. And if you you realize it from their perspective, they're going to say, well, I just had someone come up and really just give me no guidance for what they want. But if you get on the phone with the broker and say, hi, this is uh, Jason from XYZ, Uh, I'm actively uh, engaged in growing into this market. I'm working with a group that uh, has a couple hundred units and we're looking to expand into the south side of this submarket. We want to have 75 to 150 units, BC assets built between 1975 and 210. We're willing to spend a little bit more on upside. So we're willing to buy some stuff with hair on it. Uh, we do and are not scared of all owner paid utility property. We don't mind section eight up to 20% and we're actively searching in acquisition mode and we have money to put to work today. Does that give the broker some guidance that we've maybe done some due diligence on the type of properties that might be available in the market, maybe the years that that type of property is available and ideally the size of properties? Well, Maybe my speech was a little blurred because I'm just spitballing right now, but that at least gives some guidance. So what you want to have is an elevator pitch, which you can give to the brokers. And after you give that pitch, maybe the broker sends you nothing. Okay, so what are you going to do? In three weeks, you're going to send a polite email to that that broker, just stating again, thanks so much for the call. Uh, here again is what I'm looking for, 75 to two, uh, 150 units, BC assets built in 1975 uh, to uh, 210, if that's what I said. Uh, older uni- uh, utility paid property is fine, and uh, Section 8 is fine up to 20%. Uh, if there's anything that stands out or comes upon, I'd love to take a look at it. We'll, we'll give you some feedback. And with that, maybe you get something. And maybe it's a Class A 12-unit property. Completely not what you asked for, but you got something. So. Don't just say, great, and throw it to the side. Look at it, analyze it, give it a quick run through, give some guidance back. Hello, Mr. or Mr. Broker. Thanks so much for sending this property. Um, it, it doesn't fit our criteria for the following reasons. A, B, C, D. But thank you so much for sending. We look forward to seeing uh, future opportunities that fit more about it. I guarantee you, if you continue to do this and do the follow-up with this broker, Every couple weeks, whether it be a a play phone call or an email, send a hello that eventually it will start now uh, standing out that one, you're respectful of their time because you're giving them guidance on what you want and two, you're responding. 
I think it's something of about 20 uh, out of every 20 people that reach out to a broker, if you ask them, maybe if they get a deal sent out, only two or three are going to respond. Well, maybe a lot of people are just writing off the deal. Those two or three people are going to get a lot more traction and be able to create that relationship with the broker because they're responding to them. They're giving clarification to the broker. They're asking questions. So be in the minority on this one. Stand out, get back to people, and really just follow up. It's not hard. It really isn't. Just be specific and follow up. All right. Hope this gives you some guidance today. Go out there. Do some damage. Make it happen. Happy Monday, everyone. Have a great Monday. And we'll talk to you on Wednesday. Bye now. Thanks for tuning into the REI Foundation Podcast. Check back next time for more awesome tips and strategies to launch your new you in real estate.